Hi, hello, excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. Please remember to like and share this video and subscribe our valuable channel. You can also follow our social media. In this video, I will show you how to add icons, how to modify them and where can you freely and without any problems use icons to your presentations or to your projects. All right, so let's get started. First of all, if you have Microsoft 365 subscription, uh, it's probably that you have an insert tab and here you have icons, um, icons, um, yeah, icon of icons. So just click it. And as you can see, here we have some icons. I mean, yeah, there are plenty of them. So you can use them freely in commercial, but also in your personal projects without any problems. So let's, for instance, um, and of course here you can search for your icon. So maybe let's search um, tree. All right, and as you can see, here we have some icons related to a tree. So let's insert maybe this one, uh, maybe this one here and maybe this one. All right, as you can see, now we have four icons selected. So just click here, insert. All right, actually I forgot to get rid of these two text boxes. So please right click on your slide, layout and choose layout to blank. All right, so now let's distribute these icons so we can, so they will be visible for us. All right, so these are icons taken from um, from just PowerPoint, natively from PowerPoint. And of course you can use them freely, right? All right, the next uh, way to add icons are just websites. So there are two websites I can recommend you. The first website that I can recommend you is flaticon.com. And here it's really simple. You just uh, search for your icons. So maybe, maybe let's type mountain. All right. And as you can see, there are some icons uh, that are premium. So you have to buy a premium subscription in flat icon, and then you will have access to them. But majority of these icons are completely for free. So let's say we really would like to use maybe this icon. All right, so as you can see right here, you can download this icon as PNG or SVG. Of course, if you click here, you can modify the dimensions of this, uh, of this icon. So yeah, let's say we would like SVG, so just, just click it and free download. And of course, if you want to use icons from flat icon, I recommend you to read the license of this website because if you want to use them freely and for free, you have to, um, every time you have to make an attribution. All right, so here we have um, this icon as SVG. So let's drop it to our PowerPoint. All right, and maybe let's resize it. And as you can see, the proportions are locked because I am pressing my shift key. All right, so that was SVG, but you can also download this icon by PNG. So just click it. All right, this is PNG. All right, perfect. And you may wonder what is the difference between PNG and SVG. As you can see, both of them are transparent. Both of them you can change color. No, actually 
only to your SVG you can change color. As you can see this PNG is just a normal picture and this is not a vector graphic. So if we scale it up really a really big amount, so I will show you what I mean. All right. Let's maybe uh, set size to maybe 100. All right. All right, so as you can see, this icon here is PNG because here you see this is blurred, um, this shape is blurred, right? But SVG is perfectly sharp because it's vector graphic. So I really recommend to use icons as SVG file. All right. And the next website I can recommend you uh, is let me remind myself icon finder exactly here iconfinder.com and as earlier you can also type something for example computer and here maybe just click this one and of course you can download as png or svg let's take svg download icon in svg perfect and of course we can drag it to our powerpoint all right, this is SVG, so we can scale it up as we want. All right, perfectly. And one more tip uh, from me. I really recommend to use, like I said before, icons as SVG file. But I also recommend you to use um, only offline icons or only icons with fill in your whole presentation. Because as you can see here, these two are icons that have um, that are outline icons because we see only the outline, and these two are icons with fill. So you know, if you have a presentation, for instance, for a client, I really recommend to just uh, make a decision if you want to use this kind of icons or this kind of icons personally i really recommend um, i really like to use these icons because they are more often to find and in my opinion they look better and of course we can change a we can change a fill for instance for this turkish and here the same all right so yeah icons are really important in modern presentations like images and photos and infographics yeah so use use them as often as you can in your project all right so that was all about icons please subscribe our channel share this video to your friends and also like this video below and leave us a comment if you have any questions like i said before you can always comment you can always place a comment and ask me anything you want. If you want, let's say, next video to be about um, something, the next video to be a slide design, just type this comment and I will do my best. All right, so have a great day and lead a happy life. Excellent slides.